Hello there, this is Brian, Pepper, and Maverick, and welcome to another Outdoor Adventure. In this episode, we're going to be picking up from where we left off in our exploration through Eastern Massachusetts where we went through Salem, Massachusetts. From there, we went down to Cape Cod and we decided to do some exploration along the coast. It was the first time for myself and Pepper going through Cape Cod and we went ahead and documented it and we're happy to share it with you. So before we get started, let's go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for future content if you haven't already. So we ended up staying in the small town of Brewster, which is in Barnstable County, Massachusetts. And of course we had to start out getting something to eat so we decided to go to this little cafe called the hole in one and oh my god they had the best breakfast ever if you're anywhere in that area i definitely recommend stopping by um, it's just a really fun atmosphere and a really good place and on top of that great food as well so after fueling up we decided to head out and start our adventure of cape cod and what better place to start than Route 6A, the Old King's Highway. It's one of the most iconic byways that you can take on the East Coast. And much of it travels along the Cape Cod National Seashore, uh, which is quite amazing. And we started out from Orleans and started taking this northbound toward Provincetown, which is on the tip of Cape Cod. And it what really surprised me about this is how relatively non-tourist trappy this whole stretch is um, which really says something if you know, I grew up along the Jersey Shore which gosh you do not get uh, more touristy trap than all the Jersey Shore spots so this was definitely a change of pace for us and we took it made a great time or we chose a great time to explore this too which was in March, uh, late March, which the weather was really nice. Um, not too hot, not too cold. And most importantly, we had most of this stretch to ourselves as the tourist season really doesn't start kicking in until closer to May and June. Now, as we approach Provincetown, we decided to take the exit off of Race Point Road, heading toward the Old Harbor Life Saving Station and the Ranger Station at range at uh, race point this is also the head off point if you're going to do some uh, over sand uh, vehicling as well too so and as you can see too i mean there's so many hiking trails you can kind of catch in the glimpses as you're driving through so just beautiful area it's interesting too is there's a small airport as well too right off of here which we did see some airplanes taking off as we'll see in just a moment here honey Oh, you prepared. Ooh, look at the paint. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, are they aborting? Huh? Are they aborting? He thought better of it. He's I know, made. I think he did. This is so after watching the planes come and go for about five minutes, we decided to head out to the shore. And you find these signs all up and down Cape Cod, um, which are great white shark warnings, which I have to say throughout all the different shores I've been to, I have never seen this sign. Know your risk when entering the water. Be kind, keep distance in mind. Oh, yeah, well, they hunt in shallow water. At this beach, anyway. The park activity for sharks. Ah, so we're in pretty good shape. We're, we're in good shape now. I guess it's too cold for them. Because we're not even on that map. What? You can help sea turtles. Don't put them back. Huh. Move it above the high tide line. Cover with dry seaweed. Mark the spot with beach debris or draw an arrow. Huh. I think that's because they're probably uh, laying the eggs or something. I think that's when they come out. I gotta say though, this is like by far, this is definitely the biggest beach I've actually ever seen. 
I mean, normally I've never seen I've never seen a dune this high. First of all, uh, it's more compact here. And we ultimately ended up spending uh, probably a good hour just rest, relaxing and resting along this beach. Um, one of my favorite times to come to the beach is actually in the off season. You don't get all the crowds and it just allows you to reconnect and uh, find yourself at peace. Um, this is definitely such an interesting seashore. Uh, and as we went closer to the water, I don't know if you noticed in the video but that seashore itself there drops straight down we found that was pretty consistent across most of the beaches we found along cape cod as well as nantucket where you're going much quicker down into the ocean than you normally would uh, which would make sense i guess why they'd have a lot more uh shark signs but overall it's beautiful area beautiful beach um and I really appreciated the fact that it wasn't uh, completely overdone uh, like many of the shores um, in the, in the, near us, near Jersey and Maryland and, and even parts of uh, the Carolinas too. So just a beautiful place to come to. It's interesting as well too because um, I guess it makes sense because the National Seashore um, historical area it actually was initially set up by Kennedy back in 1961 which is before some of the most commercial development of the shores um, if you've ever been to the Jersey Shore or uh, heck do you, you know one of my favorite shores I used to go to all the time when I was younger was Ocean City Maryland and that was such a beautiful beach and I went back uh, 20 years later from when I was a kid and it was completely overdone um, and so commercialized it really took a lot of the aspects away so it, it's nice that they were able to preserve uh, more of a historic seashore um, especially such a populated area as Massachusetts so after spending some time down there just relaxing we decided it was time to start heading back and continue our adventures <laughs> along Route 6A yeah, that's what I'm saying. So from here, we ended up taking Province Lands Road uh, back outside of the Race Point Beach and took that all the way down to Route 6 again and into downtown Provincetown. Um, there, I, I can't emphasize enough, this part of this uh, national seashore, there's so many hiking trails. Uh, it's in sharp con stark contrast, as you can see here, to Provincetown, which I, I read a lot about, and it's a really interesting, historic town. 
Um, and granted, we came in the off season, but I have to say there was not a ton to do. It just seemed more of like a nice, sleepy town. Probably a great place to stay, and definitely great if you're going to spend most of your time accessing the more uh, wild uh, wilderness type of areas, or mm, maybe not wilderness, but more of the raw areas of the national seashore in Cape Cod. But overall, I, I don't know if the town itself is worth a trip to, though the surrounding areas definitely are. So at this point, we started making our way back down 6A on the opposite side. And this is on the, I guess, the bay side, or is it the Cape side? Not sure. And we just you know, started following winding roads back and taking our time. And again, that's one of the beauties of coming in the off season is that there's just not a ton of traffic. I, I can imagine during its peak times, you know, you might end up in nonstop bumper to bumper traffic in some of these areas. But just given the time of the year, we were able to just take our time and really explore the whole area. So at this point, like I said, mentioned, we're heading uh, south uh, down Route 6. So again, we start heading south uh, along 6, Route 6, and we're passing uh, some of the towns such as Truro, Wellfleet. Um, we start heading toward um, Eastham, which is just north of Orleans where we started at. Uh, and then just north actually of Eastham, we ended up pulling over and uh, exploring some smaller roads. Uh, I believe first we pulled onto Marconi Station, um, which was a nice little road to take out to the shore on that side. And it's a pretty forested area, actually. So it's, um, it's a mix of forest and shore as you go along this uh, route. And we finally made our way to Marconi Beach Road, uh, headed out, as you can see here, or along the uh, stretch, uh, you can see the river to the, I'm sorry, the river, the ocean to the left there. We thought about taking this point out. We decided, nah, let's head back. And we found a nice little park um, to go ahead and take out our e-bikes. And I did review these bikes initially back in January, and trust me, I, I've read the comments. I know I owe everybody a follow-up review on the long-term use of these. We have used them some, and they are fun. And I personally love these bikes. It's almost like driving an electric motorcycle, which me being a motorcycle guy, I love this to death. Uh, Pepper, not so much. Now, if you're looking down, you, you might say, Brian, are you riding Pepper's bike? Well, here's the funny thing, is that the 26-inch bike I actually found was too small for me. And as you can see, the one we bought for Pepper, the girl bike, is actually too big for her. Um, and so we did some testing, and ultimately we decided to do a switcheroo, where she got the guy bike and I got the uh, light blue uh, bike. So that kind of worked out and we took it for some quick rides around here um, which was fun but uh, yeah overall we actually did not use the bikes as much as we thought uh, which was a bit of a disappointment uh, we actually ultimately ended up not taking them over to Nantucket Island which was the one of the original goals of bring these bikes with us um, transporting them actually was relatively easy we put them um, on the uh, back of the Land Rover, uh, which we used, I believe it's an older Allen uh, three bike rack, maybe it's a four bike rack um, that I purchased years ago, uh, and that held them very secure uh, up and down along the way. So, all right, I'm gonna go. So I can start in six because I'm not using. I, if I want to, at this point, I could just turn it off. I'm just pedaling like regular. Overall, still fun. Like I said, I, I love these bikes. I'm gonna, I am going to do a follow-up review. Um, they're lots of fun. Um, 
you know, I think one of the things that I found interesting about these bikes is that you don't have to shift as much. Even though there's gears in there, if I'm using the electric assist, I found that I did not have to use it because the electric assist will allow you to get up to speed, then you can turn it off and take over and use your own pedal power. Um, and while that may take away some of the exercise benefits, the plus side is you don't have to be shifting through all your different gears, um, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. Ultimately though, like I said, we, we didn't use these very much. Uh, we ended up um, loading them back in and heading back on our adventures for the rest of the day. So overall, we had a pretty good day, a pretty good first day through Cape Cod exploring and basically just took some time to get oriented. And if you're going to be here for a week, you know what? I, I think it is worth spending a day just taking a nice drive to get yourself situated to get an idea of what you might like and not like. And just as a recap of what we went through in this first day, we started out here in Brewster um, and we ended up, we stayed at this uh, condo resort called the Brewster Green Resort. Um, really amazing. I definitely can't recommend this place enough. We ended up taking Route 6A to Orleans. We stopped in this hole-in-one breakfast here. Um, and then from here, we ended up going north. We passed through Eastham um, and made our way up here along the National uh, Cape Cod Seashore, as you can see. We made our way further up north and eventually we made our way to Race Point Beach. So this is the long beach that we explored at the top here. Um, definitely was a lot of fun. We made our way back, even though it shows here, we made our way back through here um, to Provincetown off of Route 6A again. Passed through here and made our way through all the small towns heading back. Uh, and it definitely was a lot of fun. We, we, we did some exploring through different areas here um, and getting lost down some small roads. We made our way back to Wellfleet and as you can see this is where we started pulling off again. We took a nice drive along the Atlantic here uh, through this small town um, just outside of Wellfleet and we pulled over to here to Macaron uh, Marconi Beach this area. Um, this is a beautiful area too. I think it might get overlooked unless well I, I, I was only there just a short time so I don't know but um, definitely was a uh, a lot of fun and then from there we headed back uh, home well to our temporary home in Brewster Green and you know I don't have any footage of that night but we ended up uh, we did take a uh, drive down I believe this is Hyannis uh, to the I think it was the Tap City Grill that night though I could be wrong um, and that was really and we're gonna cover that in another day but uh, that was kind of fun as well too um, and that is a pretty good restaurant. Um, and if it's not too busy, I'd check it out. Nothing super special though, if I'm being honest. But uh, overall, great first day. Um, so I think that's gonna wrap up our coverage of our first day going through Cape Cod. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for future content if you haven't already. We try to post as often as we can and we definitely enjoy the feedback as well. So anyway, um, we hope to see you again on our next uh, video on Cape Cod. We have a number of these coming out. And until then, get out there and make your own great outdoor adventures. And as always, take care.